Thank you. Thanks, nigga. Damn, nigga this, nigga that. I've been here for 27 years living in Atlanta, I mean LA, for 27 years. Oh, shit. Back and forth. I'm not gay, but I went back and forth. You gotta say that about Atlanta, fuck that. I'm just being real, I don't know if y'all been to Atlanta, I got nothing against gay guys, but damn. I got a whole bunch of them there. You know how many times I've been in the mall looking at some ass like, God damn, she got a fat ass mustache. Come on, nigga, come on, man. Put some back pockets on them jeans, play it. Come on, dude. Come on, yeah, my eyes fucked up now. I'm lusting after your booty and shit. But I did something I've never done before here in LA. I've never done it before. I've been here for 27 some years and never done it before. I drove south on the 110, got off on Century and made a left. Ooh, god damn. What's on that east side? God damn. White folks won't get these jokes. God damn, black people. What the fuck's over there? I'm driving to that motherfucking neighborhood. I'm like, this is some bullshit. I saw Grape Street. I said, hold up, nigga. I saw the movies, colors and shit. I know what the fuck I'm doing. The road got narrow. The streets got narrowed in the motherfucker around there. Well, Vernon and Willow Brook and shit. What the fuck? My car locked. My lock just popped in my lock. Bling, black, black. They start closing up and shit on me. I'm like, what the fuck? Drove around a place called Maxine Waters got a place there. No wonder that bitch crazy in Congress. She a hood bitch. <laughs> they got stores out that motherfucker. They ain't got no name stores. Just gas station just say gas and go. What nigga? What kind of gas? Mobile? What is this? Drug store just say drugs. Nigga, really? That's what I'm gonna do it now. Senor. <laughs> It is rough over there on the east side. Fuck that. I had never been to the east side. Woohoo! Some of you black, look, some of the brothers look at me like, man, don't talk about the east side. I ain't no wrong east side. Shit. You'll never hear a nigga hit the lottery and move to the east side. <laughs> That's how you can determine the neighborhood right there. I'm with there right now. I don't know who the fuck Tom Watkins is, but his park is fucked up. <laughs> See the black people, get the white people. I, I got some white jokes. <laughs> They look, they look antsy, like, God damn, are you one of us or one of them? I, I got both days. <laughs> I'm half black and I'm half German. My mother was white, German, and she was a burlesque dancer. It, uh, all right, she was a stripper, but fuck, it's my mama, so it's not going that way. Come on, fuck y'all. It was different times back then. They had a little pasties and shit on. She was dancing in the club. It was respectable back then. <laughs> she had no tattoos. <laughs> my father was a black guy in, in the service. And people always wondered what they had in common and stuff. And one thing they had in common, they traveled a lot. Both of them would travel a lot. My mother would be out of town for a couple of weeks. Sometimes my father would be out of town for a couple of weeks. One time my father was out of town for like three weeks. I was seven years old and I wanted some cereal. So I went to my mother's bedroom to ask her some, you know, get some cereal. So I went to the door to open the door and something was behind the door. I couldn't push it open. I was like, what the fuck? I'm trying to push the door open. I'm pushing. I'm seven years old trying to push the heavy door. Uh, I opened about a foot open. I stuck my little head in. I saw my mother's bed with a big old white comforter on it. I saw my mother's white feet sticking out. I, was like, I saw my father's black feet sticking out. I got excited. I was like, Daddy's home! And the head popped up. I'm like, hold on, that ain't daddy. <laughs> yeah, motherfucker. I said, hold on, that ain't got no goddamn beard no more. My mother's like, get out the room, get out the room, get out the room. I said, oh shit. Got the room in the hallway. My mother comes out a minute later fixing her robe and her hair. I'm like, look, you did not see what you think you saw, okay? I said, all right. I'm gonna tell you what I did see Christmas morning underneath the Christmas tree, a new football, a goddamn Nintendo, a goddamn 10 speed. My vision might be blurry right now, but it's gonna be 2020 Christmas morning, mama. Okay, right the fuck down. What are you talking about? <laughs> Six months later, my father take me for a drive outside of town. We go off to this house, this German lady's house. I didn't know it was a German lady. Knocking on the door, some German woman come out. I'm like, what the fuck is this? My father look at me and my son, you didn't see? I know the routine, nigga. I know the routine. <laughs> Between my mother and my father, my bedroom looked like Toys R Us and shit. <laughs> my friends would come over and say, man, you are spoiled. Like, nah, nigga, I'm a good negotiator. <laughs> My parents were cheaters, damn it, shit. <laughs> and then I went to D.C. From, from Germany, I moved to D.C. I, I was 11 years old, my parents sent me to D.C. Before they came over, they stayed a year, and I had to move with my aunt and my uncle, my father's uh, sister, and her, her new husband, and she had, had a 10-year-old son, so they wanted me to, you know, hang with them. Boo what? Boo D.C.? Boo, you calling a uh, that, bitch. That's the part you don't worry about. We passed that already, we way past that already. Okay. I'm about to call you one for interrupting my goddamn show. You got me fucked way up, but boo you, bitch. Well, whatever. You can't take that. It is what it is. Uh, 
Now back to my funny shit. So when I was, I was 11 years old, I moved into DC, I moved to my aunt and uncle. So I moved my aunt and my uncle. And I remember my, my aunt, my cousin would get his hair cut, I would get my shit dead. There's a difference in shit, cause I had long flowing hair like Prince on his first album. I had, I had the Beyonce before the Beyonce, okay? My shit was feathered and shit. I remember one day, my aunt and uncle's bedroom, I mean, I had a hallway, the east side of the room, on the hallway, one side of my bedroom, my cousin, and my other side, my aunt and uncle, and then against the wall was a linen closet. And so one day I was in my room, I was drawing, I'm like, just drawing, right, just drawing something, blah, blah, just drawing, drawing, and my door was open, and I could see my uncle's bedroom door, and it was closed, and all of a sudden I seen it open up, and my uncle was hiding behind the door, he must have took a shower or something, he's trying to go to the linen closet, get a towel or something, and he was reaching over the towel, I'm sitting on the bed, like, on the floor, I'm like, what the fuck is he doing? He reached like, I'm, I'm trying to reach, I'm like, what the hell is he doing? And he reached a little too far, like, just a little too far, boom! And <laughs> something popped out from around the door. It looked like, it hit his knee, it looked like a baby arm holding an apple. <laughs> White people, it was a big dick, that's what it was, okay? Before you wonder what the fuck I'm talking about, it looked like a baby arm holding a goddamn apple. <laughs> And he grabbed the towel, and I ain't gonna say he winked at me, but it kinda looked like he gave me a little wink before he closed the door and shit. I'm like, oh shit. And right then and there, I started praying. I said, God, please, Lord, please, God, please. If there's a God up in the sky, please, please give me one of those when I get grown, please. And you know what? I serve a good God. <laughs> if you ask for him, he'll send you some stuff sometimes. <laughs> you, got, you got that reference. <laughs> I had a job I hated. Everybody has a job they hated. I'm an artist. My, my last job I couldn't stand. I hated it. I hated it. I didn't want to do it. I wanted to be a comedian. I want to be a worker. I hated my job. I worked as a bank teller. Yes, at Bank of America on Colorado Boulevard in Pasadena. Yeah, that bullshit. I was there. I don't even know if it's still there, but I was there years ago. Man. The fuck up thing about it, I was on Def Jam too. The, new, the Def Jam just came out and I was on Def Jam. And the worst part about it was kids would come in there and see me and get all excited to see me and shit, but they try to make me feel bad because I was still working. <laughs> and I'd explain to them, look, motherfucker, I got an $800 check. After the taxes, it was $622.48, motherfucker. I'd get back to work. <laughs> the kids come in like, damn, what's up? I think it's a deaf comedy jam. I think it's a deaf comedy jam. Like, man, get your ass down to tell her number four. <laughs> nah, motherfucker, I want you to cash my motherfucking check. Dude. You deaf comedy jam. Yo, my man was on deaf comedy jam. Make me, try to make me feel all insecure. I was still working, you know what I'm saying? Come to my chicken, gave me a little check. I'm like, what the fuck? What you doing this $38 check, motherfucker? You ain't supposed to have cable, motherfucker. How you seeing me on my fucking HBO? You still in cable, goddammit. I used to have to, I used to try to get off on Fridays. Because, you know, that's where you know, do, do a show or something. Friday's the most important day for a bank. I used to hate that. I used to hate working. Oh, I hated working that. I remember I used to try like, to make excuses for somebody to die and shit. I think my, my grandma died four times in one year and shit. I'm like, she's going to die again November 12th and 13th. I'm letting y'all know. I know it's July, but she hold on then. Like, I, won't be, I won't be coming to work them days. I hated that job. I ain't going to finish that job, but I finished that job. He's been lucky. He got a fine system in the front row doing it, dude. I'm telling you, player. Woo! Do right by her, man. Do right by her, player. Right. You don't know what you got till she till I get her. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Yo, Macho, like, don't worry about it. Well, you know, all that toughness, you just take care of her. Fuck all that talking in here. Well, you, it's over. You got it. Nice. You gonna marry her? That's what I'm talking about now. That's right. 2032. <laughs> You ain't married right now, nigga. I know, I know. You still got some extra fucking to do. I get it. But you got a woman. It's hard finding. Now that I didn't realize this for women. Women, when they first see us, they look at two things when they first see us, fellas. Two things they look at. They look at our shoes and our teeth. Our shoes and our teeth. That's the first thing they look at. They don't give a fuck about your bling bling, your car, your clothes. They don't give a fuck about your skinny jeans. None of that shit. It's your shoes and your teeth. They're like, girl, he is cute. You're about to talk to him, girl. You're about to come over here. Got a little sport coat on, got a little jeans on, girl. Bitch, look at them shoes he got on. Hell no, nah, look at them goddamn shoes. Motherfucker got the heel in the front of his shoe and shit. I thought the motherfucker was moonwalking over here. I'm gonna niggas banging up like this and shit. Oh, ladies, don't laugh. I look at y'all shoes too. I know some Payless shoes when I see them too. Some cheap ass DSW shoes or whatever they're called. But all right, all right, my bad. I said DSW. Y'all look at it. Hell no. What's wrong with you? Ain't nothing wrong with DSW. I'm about to get my new Jessica Simpson from there. Mm -hmm. But y'all get the little cheap ass high heel shoes, the little nine inch heels. They so cheap, the little little rubber part and the tip of the heel coming off. 
Little metal screws sticking out, you still wearing them shits. Walk around just sparking. It's chink, 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 chink. Got motherfucking chase you with a cigarette. Girl, jog, goddammit, jog, shit. You in the club, fucking the club, I'm just about to spark. Chink, chink. <laughs> and fellas, get your teeth together, your teeth. Your teeth. Women look at teeth too, yes, they do. You boy, you worry about the wrong shit too many times. You worry worrying about your car and your rims. Bragging about what kind of rims you got. Look at them 22. Look at my shit, my little 22s, nigga. Them looking good. Fuck them 22s. Work on your 32s. How about them, motherfucker? Because you got 22 in your rims or 22 in your mouth, you missing 10 damn teeth. And you better be 70 plus, shit. You 26 years old with 22 teeth. What's wrong with your motherfucker? I got a homeboy missing all his back teeth. All the bottom. Back, top, and bottom. Gone. All of them. Gone! This motherfucker, all he got in his house is spoons and straws. <laughs> like six blenders, he blend everything. Corn, rah, rah, crackers, rah, rah, apples, rah, 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 rah. God damn! Goddamn Smoothie King, nigga, what's wrong with you? Oh, baby Gerber eating ass motherfucker. Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> One day I gave him a bag of Doritos. This motherfucker in the corner sucking on him. Him eight months to eat a six ounce bag of Doritos. <laughs> Shit. If you like cheese that much, just get you those cheese whiz. <laughs> I fucked with him one day. I gave him a box of grape, a box of grape nut cereal. He's like, man, you know I can't eat no goddamn grape nuts. <laughs> I don't know if you ever had grape nuts, but that's the hardest substance to man. I'd rather chew gravel than eat some goddamn grape nuts. If you want to eat some grape nuts for church, you better put some milk in them muffins on Monday. Hope they soak through the week. That's my Tupperware right there. Don't fuck with that. Oh, wait, that's for church. That's for church. I know it's Wednesday night, motherfucker. That's for right there. I'm trying to get them slightly crunchy. If y'all got social media, look at me. Uh, Comic Pierre, C O M I C P I E R R E. Just take that out. And uh, glad y'all. I'm glad 99.9% of y'all came out to laugh. Crab in that bucket. <laughs> Thank y'all. I love y'all.